Tony, Tiger Kirby 215 here. How to play Pyro. That's, that's pretty much all I got. Um, well, Pyro Mania update just finished a bit ago, and uh, I decided with all the new stuff, and actually I was lucky enough to have somebody trade me a strange rain blower for two scorched crates, so yay for me. Um, I decided why not do a pyro guide. Now before I start, I used to be a WM1 pyro, but then I took an I mean, but then I actually figured out how to play the game, and I am still a bit of a WM1. <laughs> but, um, I can still give you some tips on how to properly play the game, and another thing is that most of this stuff you can learn from Aces Gamers uh, Pyro Loadouts Guide, because simply I pretty much borrowed everything from him. There's only slight differences in between my sets and his sets, and I highly suggest that you watch his, which I will probably link in the description and annotate, and if I don't, that probably just means that I've been lazy. So, before I start, I rebooted Team Fortress 2 like a million times just to get this picture of the pyro. Like, legit when I got this picture of the pyro, I was thinking, if I don't get the picture of a pyro right now, I'm just going to say, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go with this anyways. And then I got a picture of pyro, and it's just like, Team Fortress 2, why are you troll me? Anyways, so, mods, uh, first of all, and secondly, Pyro. Why was this disequipped? Um, I think I even have a, oh yeah, I have the Jug genuine thing. So, first set is the set of Settinging Lawn Settington Moon Man set. Because I do not know the names of the sets. Um... Phlogistonator, otherwise known as the magical WM1 weapon that cannot air blast. Uh, Man Melter, otherwise known as the magical flare gun that doesn't require ammo and can't do cool crits. And Lolly Chop, because I decided let's do this entire let's play using Pyrovision. So that's the first set. Phlogistonator, cannot air blast, does considerably a lot. 10%. So I was right, the Phlogistonator does do less damage. That's mildly amusing. Um, but yeah, the Phlogistonator, it does less damage and um, can't do random, random crits. But when you do enough damage, uh, you can activate Mph Charge, which allows you, which refills your health and allows you to crit for, for some time. Also another thing, let me just change this set real quick. Uh, yeah, that, and this. So that's the Phlogistonator, and also apparently it does 10% less damage. I did not know that. Uh, Man Melter. Does not require ammo, is pretty much the main thing. Also, 50% projectile speed. Projectiles cannot be deflected. Guess what? Read on the wiki, that is not true. Projectiles of the Man Melter can actually be deflected, but there's, like, no real reason to. The Man Melter doesn't do shit. Um, in terms of damage, especially to um, pyros, unless of course you're firing one of the guaranteed crits from alt fire, and it also cannot do random critical hits, which makes it kind of annoying. Um, yeah, man, Melter was like my very first flare gun, and I personally don't really like it. Finally, sharpened volcano fragment. The reason that I actually just changed it from the lolly chop to the Sharpened Volcano Fragment is because the Phlogistonator, its charge charges whenever you do fire damage. So this set is simply highly efficient for doing that. And it doesn't matter what kind of fire damage you do, you can do fire damage from your flamethrower, fire damage from flare gun, fire damage from Sharpened Volcano Fragment, don't really matter, uh, still built charge. Second set, set that you should use which I don't use because I am retarded. Uh, why you know equip vintage pyrovision? There we go. So this set includes the degreaser, shotgun, which I could change for the torch shot, but I don't want to. <coughs> God damn it, I hate having this cool. And postal pummeler slash axe extinguisher slash whatever. 
This set, you all know how it works. Degreaser, set someone on fire, and then move the close to the bungler, hit them on the face, and they die instantly. I also have the Ghastly Gibbous, because my Ghastly Gibbous has a skin, and it looks beautiful. Next, uh, this is in uh, Aces Gamers words, Support Pyro. Why is that the Degreaser? It should be Pinky Prize Love Intolerance Cannon. As I personally named it, otherwise known as my lovely, strange, truly feared rain blower. Yeah, so as you can see, it has the rain blower. I do not use the back burner. Use the back burner, GTFO, because the back burner sucks. Haters gonna hate. Uh, so yeah, I personally do not like the back burner. Uh, Scorch shot, new flare gun. Seen a lot of hate for this thing. I personally really like it. So. Yeah, that's a score shot, and home wrecker. You all know how it works, remove sappers and things. Also, let me change, or no, let me keep that the same. And final set, where's your god now? Uh, this is the meet the pyro set. I pretty much have this just for fun. Sadly, I do not have the blazing bongos and infernal orchestra misc item, but yeah. Rain blower, squirt shot, lolly chop. I pretty much have this set for fun. I'll also be using this set to show off the default set because you know it's pretty much the default set except it has a squirt shot, uh, which I personally like. Again, so without further ado, let me go get into a game with my man Melter of Man Melter ES and Phlogistonator. I feel like such an idiot right now because I don't know what to say. Um, and let us get going. I shall do training again. Also, I remember looking through my uh, comments on videos, uh, and one guy commented on, I think, my fooling around with the Force of Nature video. He commented, wow, you're such a noob with, this, or, uh, with the Force of Nature, and why are you playing with bots? Uh, just a little shout out to that guy. Reason I played with bots and that I'm bad with the force of nature, I don't use it. I was simply fooling around with it. So, where would be a logical place to use flamethrowers? Yes, a place covered with snow. That seems logical. Let's -a go. And I shall stop and there. I do not know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, I shall stop this video and come back once it has loaded because Team Fortress 2 crashes every single time I try to load up a map and then it takes forever to load. So, see you in a bit. And by that I mean I won't see you, but I will resume the recording in a bit. And we're back. Random Pyro. It's so colorful! Uh, anyways, first set, for just an inner man, filter, sharpened volcano fragment, not much to say. WM1 spam for the win. As you can see, uh, fire energy is there. You hear the lovely sound of flourish ice cream. And just go mow everyone down. If it weren't for an air blast, uh, if it weren't for the air blast, if it weren't for the fact that I got air blasted, I could have probably killed just about everyone there. Oh, hello, spy. I personally do not know how to air blast for shit, but. So you think that I would use this set a lot more, but no, I do not. So without further ado, let's get to the next set because I really do not want to talk about the first set. Newbie set for noobs. Next set, degree serve. Close to Pumler. You are going to be mashing Q. That's insane. Also, for one reason or another, the shotgun on the Pyro doesn't do like damage. Like, the shotguns for the rest of the class are like... Uh, but, uh, wow, I totally forgot about that. But, if I could've hit him, and you all know how that's, that works, I would've mowed them down with infinite crits. Quite easy. Um, 
Sadly, I do not want to sell that best sell on the way to the list, but I might as well go home rather and wear supports, Pyro. Oh, I love it. We have lost um, control point. Home Wrecker, you all know how it works. It can remove sappers and it also does extra damage to the buildings. Uh, the extra damage to buildings is not really going to be for to come up on the destructive center or uh angle. Uh, this is like the one bad thing about playing with bots. Also, let me turn down my volume. Not in game, but out of the game. Uh, anyway. So, that's the home wrecker. Uh, Rainblower is essentially a stock flamethrower, except they only taunt kills. And as for Sword Shot, well, the Sword Shot is a new weapon. And it does not have to turn the control point is being captured. Uh, never asked to play. Captured. More stats for the strange train bar. Uh, except I'm playing with boss. Oh, hello. Wow, I am doing really bad. I never play Pyro, so. Um, there's not really much to say. Sport shot. Not people bad. The name is the of the. It's just for people like me, because I do not know how to air blast for shit. Um. Mainly, basically, the main reason I like it is because it startles people. Uh, and it's really useful to startle people. Uh, like that. Uh, 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 w up one! Uh, I love doing that. Uh, the control point is being captured. No, where is everything? Alert. Our control point has been uh, captured. There is absolutely nobody to murder at the moment. But yeah, score shot not single back. I also like it because it is so close. Uh, Thanks for ignoring me again. Uh, The shotgun isn't that good, but it's good for dealing with enemies. Good for dealing with enemies. The stock flamethrower is prob probably the best uh, way to do it. It's not feeling like a noob weapon and actually being good. Um, so yeah, that's for the flamethrower. We have to kill the Axe or knife is volley chops. The stock axe really isn't good, it's just, it's just, it's just much better to pick up like, any other axe. Uh, but again, it does depend on which axe you get, like, um, if you pick up something like the power jack, oh, that, that is really useful. Wow, that was kind of ironic there. But, um, the control point just being like, it depends on the control point just being power jack. If you're going to use the power jack, if you're really that kind of thing, you can use the power jack to regain, regain a lot of health. I do, I cannot talk for shit because generally, unless you're playing the evil mode, people are not going to pull out their the control, control point is being contested. However, if you are using the power jack, it's obviously a better idea not to go for them. Oh my god, I am doing so bad right now. Um, I 
Checking, although every class can do it, you do kind of do it the best. Also, classes that have bleed weapons in particular are snipers that have the what's its face weapon of facing to them. The tribal man shift, uh, snipers that have that thing are also really efficient for spy checks. Um, yeah, you're basically that's your main job spy checking and uh, close range combat. You can do long range if you have a flare gun, sport shot, detonator. Um, I should probably get to weapons that you should and shouldn't use. I'll show them uh, Yeah, so weapons that you should and shouldn't use. Um, 
where is my pyro stuff? Uh, naturally, everything I have here except for the back burner. Uh, let me just go to the shop and look at all the pyro weapons. Because quite frankly, I don't remember what they have for pyro. Um, so, weapons that you should and shouldn't take. Uh, weapons that you should take. Everything that I had in my backpack, except for the back burner. I pretty much have the back burner just cause. Um, Phlogistonator, it's it's good, but you're much better off using like a stock ramp, stock flamethrower, degreaser, something else. Um, the back burner, just don't use it. Everybody is going to hate you for using the back burner, so don't use it. Um, so that's for flamethrowers, pretty much uh, everything except for the back burner. Uh, secondary weapons, uh, weapons that you are definitely going to want. Flare gun, which I sadly do not have because you can hit people twice and essentially kill them. Uh, detonator, you would think that it is a better version of the flare gun, no it's not because quite simply it does mini crits when you hit people on fire, and really the explosion isn't that useful. Um, man melter, again, it, it isn't that useful. It's useful if you have either the back burner or a phlogistonator, but it's just, again, not that useful. Sport shot, I personally like it. Not many people got used to it. Um, it detonates automatically, which is why I like it. And also, the 50% damage penalty isn't really that much, because really, in my personal words, evil afterburn is evil. Like, most of the time when you play it, pyro, afterburn is going to get people. Um, I also like it because of the knockback. Um, as for your third weapons, actually, most of the melee weapons, pyro, are kind of like something. Why the hell is the Infernal Orchestra placing bongos under weapons? Um, yeah, but anywho, um, for melee weapons, Power Jack, I wouldn't recommend, like, it's good for if you can actually get melee kills, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally take it. Axe Extinguisher slash po Why is the Postal Pum- why does the Postal Pumbler cost more than the Axe Extinguisher? Uh, Valve, you make no sense. Um, Extinguisher, Postal, Pummeler, um, they're also, they're really good with the degreaser. Uh, Homewrecker, it's really useful, sadly I don't use it. Infernal Orchestra, I should really buy that thing. Um, Infernal, Infernal Orchestra is nice. Wait, wait, why am I talking about it? Um, third degree, uh, stock axe and things, it isn't that useful. Back scratcher, I personally wouldn't take it. It's good for medieval mode, but not for actual in game because it decreases your healing and really as pyro you take a shitload of damage. Um so yeah, that's essentially all the melee weapons. Oh, I love my skins. Um so yeah, for melee weapons, like your best bet is to take an axe extinguisher or home wrecker. Um not really much to say about Pyro, really. I really want to buy this thing, and quite frankly, I should because I have a lot of money. But I am not going to show me buying it on screen. <laughs> Hashtag troll face. Um, so yeah, what would be a nice way to end this thing off? Especially considering that I have two keys. Hmm. I know, let's open up some crates. Uh, what to open? So let's finish this on a bright note by opening up some crates. Not that. Not that. Um, shut up. Nah, um. Man, I have so many Series 42 crates. Or actually, I have a shitload of 41 and 42. Eh, I won't open up 42. 43? 43 has some nice stuff. I'm not opening up 44 because the strange equalizer sucks shit. How about I open up 43 and 45? Why not? 
just to finish this thing off, uh, is that 40? Yeah, that's 43. So let's open up series 43. See what we got. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Strange shortstop, one of the few weapons that I use. Hooray. Uh, and now let's see what 45 gets of me. Here we go. Let's see. Ah! I hate strange parts. God damn it. God damn it. Well, I could use it with my thing. Could, but I hate strange parts. Oh, hurrah, I got another goddamn useless weapon. Bah, I mean useless strange parts. Herp a derp. Um, on the bright side, strange shortstop. Yay. I'm happy now. By that, I mean I personally do not care. God damn it, I really need that one hat. How much is it? I forget, how much is that one hat? Because, quite frankly, or actually... Actually, now that I have a short stop, if I get enough of them, wow. Hmm. Well! That was a nice way to end it off. I got, um... I got another useless strange parts. Anybody want it? I'm trading it for keys. Along with my strange parts buildings destroyed. Um... <clears throat> yeah, so... I got a number of useless strange parts. I showed you how to play Pyro. I, in case you're wondering, I named all my Pyro weapons just for fun. I, well, I named all my strange weapons just for fun. I love that name. Um, and also, I got I named my my Medigun. Got myself a lovely bow tie from the Manco store. Bought a lot of stuff. And uh, what to do next? Hmm. Well, let me think. How about I record the Binding of Isaac next? That could sound, that sounds kind of fun. Anywho, thank you for watching. And why am I showing you my audacity? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Thank you and good